you have better music. <laughs> We're back on the morning brew with friends. We got a new friend, Jeannie Sturka, with Yazine Armstrong. From you're from the Stimulus Center at right. CNM, and you are from a company that is doing some awesome stuff at CNM. Mm -hmm. Now it's called This Is Garbage, yes. and you are in what is called the Ignite program mm -hmm. at CNM. And tell us real quickly what Ignite is. Sure, it's a 12-week business accelerator. So we're working with really young companies to try to get them to the next level. And really, it's a 12-week intense entrepreneurship curriculum, as well as mentoring and coaching to really help the companies figure out how to take themselves to the next level. And we keep hearing about the lean startup model right. in the books. And you know, Gary Opadal was on the show yesterday, and he oh, was like, great. he's like throwing out lean startup <laughs> the books everywhere when he comes in. So we've been and using that that model as well. And all of the companies fill out the lean canvas. And really, it's about customer validation, right? Right. and having your prototype. So, so these are things that, how these work is companies like you, you kind of sign up and the folks at CNM, they line you up with mentors, they line you up with everybody mm -hmm. else, and they just launch you this really accelerated kind of mini MBA program, right? Yeah, pretty much. And how did you find out about it? Um, well, I was wanted to start my business, and mm -hmm. so I was looking on, at CNM to take a marketing class or something, and I saw the program, so I applied. So. Um, I wasn't really looking for a program. I just came across it and went for it. Cool. And your company is called This Is Garbage. Yes. And I love this because it's kind of, <laughs> it's not quite, when you think this is garbage, it's not garbage. Check this out. This is awesome. This is a purse and it's made from... So it's bike inner tubes, and then I also use bike chain and the cable housing. And we need to see if we can get a, uh, a close-up on this, because this is pretty great. Those are the cables and the chain right there. And then this is all... The strap and everything is all bicycle inner tube. And this is stuff that I probably have 75 of these sitting in my <laughs> closet. And I keep telling myself I'm going to put a patch on. Yeah. But instead, I could give them to you exactly. and you could recycle it into a purse for me. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Although maybe you could make like more of a, yeah, I could make yeah, something a European more. man bag. Yeah. That'd be, that's what I need is the European man bag made out of inner tubes. That's I would my love next it. Design. That's your next design? Great. I'm in. You're hearing you directly really, from customers. So. I, I am in. Yeah, is that is this hard to make? What do you, how do you put it? Just sew them no, together, or what do you it, do? It goes through. They're pretty easy. Much easier to sew than leather. Mm -hmm. So very cool. Mm -hmm. And are, have you always been a designer? Do you only make bags? Um, I prefer making bags. I do some other stuff, but and I I think I have the most experience with bags. It is that um, when we when we talk about. Was it all rubber? Like, you don't make like jackets out of bicycle inner tubes, do you? Or I can you? I was thinking about it, but I haven't yet. If you made, yeah. if you made one, I would wear one on the show. <laughs> right. I would be excellent. I would totally wear an inner tube jacket on the show. That'd be excellent. All right, I'll get your or an inner tube one. scarf. Okay. I've been trying to find some scarves for the summer. Uh, does everything you make is it all out of bicycle stuff, or do you um, just go through and find other things? Right now it is, but I do want to branch out and get other things and just repurpose any material that I find that I think I could work with. Very cool. Is it yeah. so like the, the inner tube line of stuff and yeah. then like the uh, the throwaway peeps line of yeah. stuff or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the interesting things about having working with an entrepreneur like Ginny that we found when we were even looking at her application is that she had really identified a niche market. Mm -hmm. And part of the Lean Canvas is going out and talking to customers, and she already right. had gone out to a lot of bike shops and talked with them about their interest in her product. And so it was really interesting to look at, to see her through the application process and now to see where she's at because she had the customers already out there and right. many of the companies are still trying to figure that out. So right. it was, it's was it been really great to have Jenny part of the program. Yeah. Are they the customers or are they suppliers? Because I can imagine the bike shop being the place where you would probably get the old inner tubes. Yeah, so there really would be both, I guess. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's very cool. Yeah. And you're one of what, 12 companies in the program? 10. 10 companies yes, in the program. Yes, 10 in our first, in our first cohort. And mm -hmm. it started just, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, it started But it's January. already going to wrap up. And we're going to wrap, we had 12 weeks, and we're going to wrap up. So the companies have been working incredibly hard. We have our upcoming demo day, where mm. the companies actually... That's next Friday. Yeah, it is next Friday. Wow. They get to pitch their companies to the community, and it's actually, anyone from the community is invited to attend. And it's from 2 to 5 on CNM's main campus on, on April 10th. And if you go to our website, www.stimuluscenter.org, you can RSVP. It's free, but we're just trying to make sure that we know who's coming. You got your pitch down already, Ginny? Um, I'm almost there. You're almost there. <laughs> and what, in, in a nutshell, what is the pitch about? So it talks about where the idea for this came up, because this attaches to your bike also, oh. which is a big part of my designs, because I had an accident where I was just carrying a regular handbag, and it got stuck in my front tire, and I knocked my front teeth out. Oh, no. You so, got them back, though? Yeah, I got them <laughs> But, yeah, so that's why I really thought bags that attach to your bike um, mm -hmm. were a great idea, and it seems that other people think so, too. You just bungee cord that right off. <laughs> right. No, that makes perfect sense now that you talk about it. Yeah. yeah. So you open to sell these in through bicycle stores? Um, other places also, because 
Um, it's more it's fashion forward exactly. than bicycle forward, right? Exactly. So I think it's marketed more towards people that aren't just bicyclists. So I want to get it out to other places also. That's very cool. So how much does a bag like this cost? That's something I'm still working on. One million on. dollars. <laughs> exactly. right? Is it for me? Yeah. So are you mass producing them yet? Or no. You, you're not no. Quite right at that now level? I'm still making them myself. Yeah. How many um, have you made? Um, this is my first prototype. I have one other, and other than that, that's it. Very cool. So, where are you, where are you hoping that you're graduating from the Ignite program? Uh -huh. You're taking everything you've learned from this. Where's the next step? What do you want to do Monday morning after demo day? <laughs> um, I'm not positive. I'm, I think I will apply for the um, ABQID, but. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of the um, next step. It's another right. similar program, but it offers some capital. Yeah. It does, it offers some capital. Yeah, because that's something that I think to put them into a bigger production, I need some capital behind it. So mm -hmm. if that's where I'm going, then I'll need to figure something out for yeah. for more capital. Well, in your mm -hmm. pitch, are you putting in? I need to try to raise some money? Um, or a Kickstarter or something I'm not, like that? I'm really looking for a lot of feedback on my design right now and just getting people to tell me what they think. And um, I have a survey that's asking people what they carry, so I know really how to make sure my bags are fitting the needs of the user. Very cool. We can put a photo of this on the Morning Brew page All and right. get you some more feedback. Why yeah, not, that'd right? Yeah, that would be great. That would be excellent fun. <laughs> we'll just have our producers here take a shot of it before we leave, and then you can check out the Morning Brew site later and give her feedback on her bag. I think that would be awesome. <laughs> the, uh, so, but there are some other companies that are doing very cool stuff. I met the, the women, I can't remember their name, but they're doing pickling. Oh, right. Valley Girls oh, yeah. Goods. This, I love them. Yeah, it's, it's like they're great. pickling everything. They're pickling everything but pickles, which is right. the greatest part right. about their product <laughs> right. line. Yeah, they actually, um, so the, they're a really good interesting story about how um, the mentorship that we're providing really takes the companies to the next level. So their mentors were Jean and Jackie Baca from Bueno Foods. Oh, yes. And with one phone call, Jean and Jackie actually got got Valley Girl Goods a, a meeting with their national distributor. And before you can move, go on, every yeah, company sure. that goes in the Ignite program has an, entrepreneur, has an entrepreneurial mentor. Correct. And Correct. That's, a, that's a big part of the it's whole program, part, right? It's a huge part of the program. It's a huge part of any good accelerator program right. because it is really that one-on-one -on -one mentorship that helps you navigate an industry. And usually the mentor is someone that has industry expertise. You don't need to reinvent the wheel completely, right? right. Um, and so the, with the Valley Girls Goods, um, Jean and Jackie were able to give them um, an introduction to a really important distributor. And the um, Angie and Maria, the owners of Valley Goods, went up there and actually did their pitch. And they're now going to be getting um, distribution in the southwest in Texas. Woohoo! I know. Are they really? in like, are they, will we be, will so see, they're, 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 they're non-pickled or yes, you can buy them here. pickled stuff? Yeah, you can buy them here in Whole Foods in Total Wine and Sprouts. They were actually commissioned by Total Wine to do pickled pearl onions. Oh, that would be excellent right. for like a martini. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, we got to get our buddy Greg on for like simple cocktails, Greg. Yes. Have him yes. do some cocktails with that. With, their, with their products, it's amazing. So That'd be very we have cool. some great companies. Um, we have another one, As Girls Grow, doing engineering mm -hmm. toys for girls. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really a market that's taking off. Right. Um, we have another company that is um, called Life Pro Tech. It's medical jewelry that's really nicely designed so it can house your medical information. So if EMTs, if you, something happens to you, EMTs can know that in that medical piece of jewelry they can actually find if you're diabetic or whatever your, your yeah. health issues are. There's uh, so many companies. I'd love to talk to them about yes. all sure. of them. But there's, this is all happening at the Stimulus Center, which is downtown. Mm -hmm. And I think most people know about the P&M Pop-Up Pavilion, that's which is right. cool. It is it's, really cool. I love this because it is... For the, you know, they're the containers you put on a train. They are. And they go they're right shipping in. Containers. They're shipping <laughs> containers. But they're also like lockable and heatable and air conditionable. And you can, they just put them on the Galleria little lawn there, little porch area. We did. Can, and we've done a number of uh, events there. And so we've done everything from a bicycle maintenance class. We did some yoga last fall. We've done some of our speaker series, some of our mm -hmm. entrepreneurship speaker series. Um, we're going to be launching our new programs for the spring and summer shortly. Um, because the pop-up pavilion is really our way of kind of saying, you know, we're downtown and we want to engage a lot of the downtown community and what's going on in all these different entrepreneurial activities. And there is a lot. I mean, what are you guys most excited about other than stimulus center stuff? Sure. There's Epicenter, there's the Innovate corridor, there's everything. So what I'm most excited about, and I think you know, CNM is playing an inter interesting role in all of it, is the collaboration that's happening among the Epicenter, ABQID, mm -hmm. Fat Pipe ABQ. Mm -hmm. There are so many amazing things happening to really support entrepreneurs that I think other places say, oh yeah, we all work together. But in, in Albuquerque, we, we honestly do. Um, you know, We're looking at our program, for example, for really young, early stage, to get them ready for ABQID 
or West Corp or the SBDC or right. some of the next level of services right. that are out there. And we're all working really, really closely together. And, and quickly, Jane, if you, if, do you think after you've gone through the program now, you're ready for something like ABQA? I think so. They've yeah. really, they've really, well, accelerate it what they're supposed to be doing. Put on pump, business. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to come back in just a couple of seconds with our friend Larry Gallegos from Burnley County. You guys stick around? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. We're going to talk about some all kinds of awesome Birmingham County stuff and county government money. All right. Great. Yeah. <laughs>